buckle me if not. He can't buckle me if not. So teenagers who are entitled may be a source of tension since they are so used to receiving what they want that it's only a matter of time before their attitude causes them to get into trouble or even worse. The following are six instances in which entitled daughters believe they are above the law. Starting with the police response to a complaint of a verbal domestic dispute. When the police arrived at the house, they separated the two people who were involved, a mother and her daughter who was an adult. Therefore, the police talked with the daughter. Police department! Police department! Don't knock so hard! Sorry. Relax! Okay, what's going on? You tell me! I got a call from you for a verbal domestic. And? Okay, what's going on, Trudy? You tell me. I just told you what's You got the verbal domestic, I did. Who called? You, did you call? No. Nope. Where's your mom at? Mom! Can you talk to one of us outside? Mm -hmm. Mom! Go talk to them! Come here. No, you go talk to them. You go outside and talk to them. Don't have to go outside. He said go outside and talk to them. Outside. Talk to, no, talk to, talk to him outside? No, I'm not going to talk to anybody. No, I'm not going to talk to anybody. You don't want to talk to us? No. Why? I'm trying to figure out what happened. For what? To investigate. I don't care domestic. about you guys. You guys don't matter anymore. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What? We're I just called care. over here for a verbal DV. This one. This one. Go we don't know what's We don't know what's going on. We're just here to figure out. To my understanding, you and your mom were having a verbal argument. I didn't know it was that bad. The daughter became enraged and yelled at the police to take her to jail. She also told the cops that it didn't matter if her mother had pushed her since she didn't want to rat out her mother over the incident. What's up? Just put me in jail. What are you doing? Everything my mom said, just put me in jail. Jail, please, please. Go, just put me in jail. I've already been there. Let me go. Your mom's claiming that you pushed her, okay? I don't care what my mom says. What? Do you know she pushed me too? You guys don't know what she does. You can't push your mom. I'm okay. I'm I don't think you're a bad person, but you can't push your mom, okay? And she can push me? She said she did in self-defense after you pushed her. Are you kidding me? Whenever I first asked you physical, you said no physical. It and was like, not when physical. I asked, when I asked her first, she because said, I'm not going to rat out my mom. I didn't touch my mom. I need you to stand up for me. Huh? I need you to stand up for me. I can't. Why not? Because I don't know what you're up to, and I don't want to be about anything. I'm going to tell you to turn around. No, I'm your not. Back. No. I don't want to put my hands behind my back. I didn't do anything wrong. She's saying you pushed her. I didn't. At this moment, the cops informed the daughter that they had made the decision to arrest her. The daughter, on the other hand, was certain that she had done nothing wrong and refused to comply because she was dissatisfied with the cops' decision. However, the cops lost their cool and grabbed her hands and attempted to arrest her with force, despite the fact that the daughter put up a strong fight against the arrest. Stand up, come on. It wasn't physical. Trudy, stand up before I have to grab you. One more game. Stand up, please. You do not touch me. I'm asking me. you nicely. You do up. not touch I'm me. I'm asking you nicely. I'm giving you a lawful order to stand up, so stand up. You have and five I'm, seconds. I'm telling you, have five you seconds. give me. You have five seconds. I don't have five seconds. Yes, you do. I said, give me a minute because this is a lot to take in. Okay. We've been patient with you enough, Trudy. Now I get don't up. care. This is a lot. You guys don't have to Trudy. deal with this. Don't touch me Trudy. unlawfully. Do not. You're I said, don't getting, touch me. You're already going to get charges. More charges, Trudy. Oh! Look what you did, Mom! You guys are a I swear. You don't listen. I don't have to listen. Yes, I do. said, give me a minute, and you can't give me a minute! Don't be like that. Don't do it! At the time when the police were attempting to remove the suspect from the bed in order to put her in handcuffs, the suspect flung herself against a wall and slumped her body in a limp position. In addition, it seemed as if she pretended to be unconscious while she started verbally insulting and fighting the cops who were trying to arrest her. One, two, three. So, Trudy. Cut it out. Stop. Get up. Come on, Trudy. Let's talk to these guys. Trudy, stand up. Get up, Trudy. Knocked out. Let's get her up on her. One, two, three. 
Fainting, she's breathing. Does she usually pass out like this? Sometimes she does when she's drinking. When she's drinking? She is breathing. She's breathing. I suspect she's drinking. Also, I she's detained. I haven't seen it, but she bites her neighbor. Did I make it that hard for you? Huh? Now you could stand up, Trudy. Come on, stop playing around. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but... Is that because of you, Mom? Trudy, come on, stand up. Stand up, Trudy. Come Enough on. games. Enough of this. No, I can't. Are you faking? I'm not faking. Okay, I'm up. sick, you f***ards. What are you sick with? You already picked up more charges. You're just fighting us and then all of a sudden you're resisting. Thanks, 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 thanks to my mom. Thanks to my mom. Resisting and you hit me. Thanks to my mom. I did not hit you. Yep. No, I did not hit you. In the meanwhile, the medical support came. However, the daughter did not like to interact with them, which resulted in the medical assistance leaving her. As soon as the cops saw that the daughter refused to accept assistance from the medical professionals, they decided to remove her from the house and put her in the police vehicle, which resulted in more. Or complications. Good morning. She said she's in pain everywhere. No, and get the f out of here. You guys leave. No. That's yes, not yes, yes, it is gonna happen. You yes, go it hospital? is gonna happen. You go to I will go to the hospital. Let's go. I'm talking to this police officer right now, you so leave. Me? You want me? No, I don't want you. See you later. Okay, bye. You guys got that? Yes, got they do. Yes, yeah. they do. See it's you later. their problem. Bye. Let's go see. But can Let's you go. at least loosen we'll me? Loosen. You just yeah, cool chill us. out. If you're cool with us, we're cool with you. Chill. You're not cool with me. Stand up and I'll loosen the cuffs for you. Hey. Okay. Stand up and I'll loosen them for you. Cuff keys right here. I'll loosen the handcuffs for you. Okay. And can I at least put my hair in a ponytail? It looks like a freaking mess. Not after you resist. Well, tell my mom. Not after you resisted us. Yes, I will resist you until you're blue in the face, and then you can have Stevan come and. Put my hair in a ponytail. He's not gonna do that. Okay, then you put my hair in a ponytail. We don't do that. Yes, you do. No, I'm not gonna yes. put your hair in a ponytail. I'm not gonna look crazy. Mom! Oh no, my mom's the one who calls the police. Like an idiot. I should call the police on her sometimes. Mom! I'm not gonna go look in like this. This is embarrassing. No. Mom! Let me just ask her. Mom! Put my hair in a Ponytail. She said yes. Stop. Trudy, stop. Don't you f up. My mom said yes. When the daughter got to the jail institution, she started to yell and insult the cops who were there. On the other hand, the cops attempted to ease her anxiety, but regrettably, their efforts were unsuccessful. I said, get me, stop get out. crying. Get out. I said, let me stop crying. What the f is wrong with you? You don't treat people like I don't f have to listen to you. I didn't do nothing wrong, dumb. Well, listen next time. Does it say that on your f***ing? Don't f touch me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna f this mother. No, I wanna, I wanna see somebody that I can trust because I don't trust this guy. No, I don't trust him. I don't trust you guys. Period. Period. Give me my freaking property. You do not have any control over my phone. Actually, once you're within the facility, we have control over your phone. No, it's under it my goes in your property, it's and that's just where it goes. Okay, well, you can go, and let's call somebody Actually, that can come over here. Work. Well, no, somebody can come over here up. who is going to be on my side. Don't you force me like that. To sum it up, the suspect was charged with battery against a household member, her mother, resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer, and battery upon a peace officer. Even though she tried to escape being arrested, her efforts were pointless. On the other hand, this next individual will startle the police to such an extent that they'll be rather cautious. It all starts with the police arriving at a property in response to a complaint of a woman causing a domestic disturbance. When the cops came, they discussed with the suspect's father and the suspect's wife. 
the victim said that Pamela, the suspect, was arguing with them over drugs. When the suspect's wife attempted to leave, Pamela began punching and spitting on her. Additionally, she had a fight with her father and shoved him into the bed. On the other hand, the suspect provided another fake story, which said that her partner had been arguing with her. However, the cop ignored her explanation, which resulted in her being handcuffed. What's going on? These two are out of control. Way better than you. We're busy looking Hitting each other. Hitting each other. Fighting. What, what's going on? Well, if you like to... Where do you want... Where would you like to start? I want you to come out here and have a seat for me. all over her face. Well, she didn't spit on my face. Come out here and have a seat. That's you spitting. There's nowhere to have a seat. On the ground. On the steps. Come here. Can I have a cigarette? No, you can come out here and have a okay. seat. Guess what? I will sit here, but I'm the one with marks. Not sit down. Yep, here you go. Here there you go, sir. You two have IDs on you? No, I'm not bleeding right here, bleeding right here, bleeding right oh. here. No, I'm not bleeding. <laughs> You're the kind of Grab that chair there and have a seat in it for me, ma'am. You? Grab that chair and have a seat in it for me. Good. Okay, can you step over there for me? Hey, stop digging around and have a seat in the chair. Sit down. I don't have to sit down because I'm not under arrest. I'm not doing anything wrong. I haven't done shit wrong. And I need to get a drink because I'm hyperventilating. No, you're going to sit down or I'm going to make you sit down. So it's your choice. I'm a lawyer. Please go ahead. Sit down. I can get a drink. I'm entitled to one. Resisting. I'm not a Put your hands behind your back. You are hurting me. You Stop resisting. Okay, Derek Chauvin. All right. At this point, the cop decided to examine the matter with the suspect's father. During the course of the investigation, the cop discovered that the suspect, Pamela, was under the influence of drugs and was making a disturbance in the home because she believed that her father and her wife had taken her drugs. Who is she to you? My daughter. Your daughter. Who is she to you? My wife. They're married. Okay. What happened tonight? I don't know. I was sleeping. I well, woke up to all of this. Commotion. Well, what did you see and what did you hear? Fighting. What? what can you expound on that for me? Fighting. Getting. I don't even know what happened because I just got home from work very late. This girl and then Emma was asleep, and I was. You know, Hang on, I'll, hang on. I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? And I was, and I was asleep, and then I woke up to all of this throwing shit around the room, and name calling, hitting. Smacking. Who was hitting who? Both of them. Smacking. Me. What was it about? I was really just defending myself. I was. Uh, hey, hey! I said I'd be with you in a minute, okay? I'm gonna talk to you. Who was hitting who? Well, Pamela was hitting, spitting on her. She was hitting her. Over what? I don't know. I don't know what it was about. But she's on Xanax. Okay. She's on Xanax and she thinks everybody stole them from her. That's why. Yeah, she's on Xanax. And she thinks everybody stole her Xanax. Okay. Now, the police investigated the suspect to determine what had occurred. However, the suspect refused to answer the questions in an honest manner and instead said that she'd been sleeping and that her wife had awakened her by asking her where her drugs were. The suspect also stated that this was the trigger that caused the fight to begin. Okay, Pamela, what started the argument tonight? <laughs> I couldn't even tell you because I was asleep. You don't know? I was asleep. <laughs> I was asleep. My whole purse is emptied out. Everything's gone out of my purse. Everything's missing. I don't have sh Okay, so once you woke up, what what was the screaming and stuff about? I didn't wake up. She woke me up and asked no, no, where no, that's her what drugs I'm saying. were. That's where what her, I'm saying. Where her, wherever her stash was, her drugs, that I did them. 
I said go through all of my stuff. I don't have anything. I've been sleeping since last night. Like, so, so the argument once you were woken up was about drugs? drugs. Okay. About marijuana, about... I mean, literally, I don't even know because I've been asleep with my dad. Okay, all right, hang tight, Pamela. The suspect continued to trick the cops by claiming that she suffers from cancer and that her wife is abusive towards her. On the other hand, the cops discovered that the suspect was attempting to escape from her handcuffs. As a result, they instructed her to exit the police vehicle so that they could tighten the handcuffs. Well, listen, so, I, have, I, I, I do take medication. I, what I kind have of cancer. Okay. I literally... Was there medication in the room when you woke up? No, I didn't get a chance to. She has my purse. She has everything because she controls my whole life. <laughs> okay. I need a drink. I have cancer. Okay. I think, I think, literally, I take Here's you. Here's the deal. We're putting those cuffs back behind your back. You keep slipping them. We're going to have issues. I'm not slipping them. You put them up front, didn't you? Step out. Are you going to make me drag you to my car? Are you really going to? Step out. Can you give me a minute to catch my okay, breath? Okay, step out. It's cooler out here than in a hot back it car. It doesn't matter. I can't catch my breath. Okay. Go ahead. Do what you got to do. Thank you. After the cops placed the suspect back into the police vehicle for the second time, the issues began to get progressively worse. The suspect did not want to put her legs into the vehicle and instead attempted to kick the door of the vehicle. In addition to this, she began to scream. You want water? I want to speak to my father. So that's a no on the water. Okay. Go ahead and kick your feet in. No, I want to speak to okay. my father to make sure he's okay. So, I did. Alright. Well, what? Okay. One more thing. I went to go shut the door and she kicked her feet out, refusing to shut the door. So, I'm not going to deal with it. She's going to be hobbled down. No. Okay. Yeah, you're right. There's cameras. So, I shoved her in there and shut the door. And then she started standing up in there. Hey. When the cops arrived at the jail parking lot with the suspect, she once again kicked the door of the police car, which caused one of the cops to get enraged to the point where he insulted her. You're gonna get pepper sprayed. Stop kicking my door. Let me out. She's about to get pepper sprayed. Let's walk out. Oh. Okay. Here we go. I don't care right now. Yeah, you don't care ever. I've you been trying to be. I've been trying ever. to be compliant, Roll this helping down. you. Roll this window down. It don't go down. It's broke. Uh, you like you like to prey on the weak, huh? You look like you do meth. Yeah. I really don't care about I've your... never done meth a day in my life. I'm a paralegal, you stupid fat. I'd rather be fat than look like I do meth. So. I'd rather be. I, I, that's sad. It's not sad. At least I'm not in the back of a cop car. Yeah, well, you should be. You should be because you, him, and all your other buddies, they're all liars. You guys are corrupt as f And I know because I'm doing a whole investigation on you guys right now. To wrap it up, Pamela was charged with resisting an officer without violence, tampering with a witness, battery, and battery on a person 65 years of age or older. Although she insulted the police on many occasions, she was ultimately sentenced to jail time. On the other hand, this next individual will be warned by the police before she is arrested. It all starts with the police responding to a complaint about a lady stealing merchandise at a local festival. As soon as the police came, they questioned the lady about her identity, and after that, they cautioned her to leave, and she did so. Hey, so we got a call about some of your behavior of just taking stuff from the booth? No, I actually was talking to a friend and I was leaving, okay. so. All right, well, um, you're a trespasser from Kent Cornucopia days for the rest of the weekend, okay? Yeah, All right, please don't come back. If you come back, you could be arrested for trespassing. All right, and just so you know, this is audio and video recorded. Okay, all right, have a great day. Bye. Hey, what's your first name? Um, Azel. What is it? Azel. Az Azel? Azel? Azel. 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 Yeah. 
Despite the fact that she had been warned by the police, she was seen attending the local festival once again, and as a result, the police made the decision to arrest her. However, when the suspect learned that she would be imprisoned, she didn't seem to be particularly calm. Instead, she resisted and yelled that she was pregnant and that she was blind. Stop. I didn't do that yet! Stop! Put your hands your back. I don't! Stop it! Right now you're being Then stop! The baby stop! Then stop! Ow, I have a nice baby! And easy. I have a kid! In my stomach! Stop! Ow! I have a kid! Ow, I have a kid! I have a kid! I have a kid! I have a kid! Ow, let me go! I have a kid! I She is not pregnant. We've dealt with her six times today. Hold on. Okay. Just relax. Just relax. Stop. I would like you to stop. Stop it. I didn't do anything. I'm just paid. Stop, I'm blind. I'm going to have you step, sit up. Babe, I'm blind. Okay, sit up. And I have a You're baby. Come on. Yes, I am. Can you sit up for me? Ow, I have to go to the bathroom. I want you to Can get I have this you off stand me. Up for me? Will, you, will you take this off me? If you stand up for me. Ow, my shit, my pants is almost. Come on. Okay, there you go. Stand up, there you go. I want to walk and go where I go Let's home. This way. I want to walk and go where I go home. You're under arrest. Stop it. No. You're under Listen. Arrest. Let's go. At this point, the suspect attempted to justify her case by informing the police that she did not intend to steal, but that she had the money to buy that soap. Nevertheless, the cops did not pay attention to her and instead led her away from the local festival. Additionally, the cops explained to her the reason why she was detained once again. I was going to buy soap. Okay. I have money in my well, pocket. What you're going to do now is you're going to walk over here, okay? Are you going to give me my shoe and I'm going to talk to me? Right Can right you walk right for me? Are you going to go We're and talk to me? Way. Come on. Ow! Oh. Yeah. Babe, stop. This Come hurts on. my toes. Uh, we can I walk will, over there. When we walk, I don't, you don't treat me walk like this. I, I can walk myself. Then walk. I would like you to tell me that, like, I didn't. You were trespassing earlier for stealing. No, I was trying to get you out. Here again, so you're under arrest for trespassing. No, I'm not and under arrest. Stop, I didn't uh, steal. I was going to get him back to him. Well, he didn't grab him for me. Either way, you're under arrest for trespassing. Stop, I didn't cross paths. Come on. Babe, I didn't cross that. Stop, come on. I have to go to the bathroom. Go put her under arrest. I was trying to find the bathroom. The bathroom's you, right there. You've ow, been here all day. Ow, stop. Take a seat with your ass. Stop. Let me grass. sit down. Ow. Oh. There you go. Don't they get this off me. I don't appreciate it. I didn't mean to do anything. I was trying to have a good time. My friend is supposed to meet me here. Well, you're under arrest. No. You should have left. Baby, I don't ever uh, forget. I'm an officer, too. You are. Uh, yeah, so I don't be under arrest. Who do you work for? Uh, King County. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have King County here and they can come verify that you don't. No, work. you don't. Uh, I said, babe, don't. I already okay. told you I live in the departments up here. Right now you have the right to remain silent. I was uh, actually, you my lemonade, babe, up. listen, yeah, my lemonade fell. No. No. You are being questioned. Babe, my Not lemonade fell and I was going to, I was going to give him the rocks. I didn't. You can decide any time to exercise these rights. Fuck you, I was going to give him my rocks. Do you understand each of these rights? I am hurt. Today? My arm is broken. I got no cars in the other day. Which arm? My left arm and my right arm. Both of them? Yeah. Now, the suspect was sitting on the ground and requesting that the police release her from her handcuffs since she was responsible for the care of her children. The cops, however, discovered that she had been lying and dragged her up from the ground in order to get her to stand up. Okay, but like, I would like you to uncuff me so I can go to the bathroom. I can't. I don't go. I, I am, guess what? I am a person that is uh, handicapped. I have to go back home and um, uh, <laughs> I have a cough. <laughs> <Ow. laughs> and um, I take care of my children. Um, You've been here all day. How are you taking care of your children if you're here all day? My kids are in daycare. Oh, Ow. it's night. They are. I have two kids. I'm not trespassing. This is what you do to people. 
No, you did. Be quiet. Be quiet. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Can you talk to me? I'm, Can you talk I to am, me and let me go for right now? No. You need to let me. Oh, let go of me. I need to get up. Ow! You don't do this to a person. On your butt. Stop! You don't do this to a person. Let go of me, please. My friend's over there. I tried being nice. Babe, my friend is over there nice. waiting for me. I would like to know I went to I go to hang out with my man over there. You're not going to. I, I don't care what you say. My dad, Don Nicholson, told you we don't, we don't do this. And I need to get the rocks back. I got over on the rocks. Rocks. The suspect attempted to explain why she did not commit trespassing. Nonetheless, the police ignored her explanation. There was also a decision made by the police to search her for anything that was prohibited. No. no, I don't have anything bad. Okay. These are my things that are personal. My, like, I just got dressed, and my Josh, my cousin, um, is Do you remember disabled. me telling you you weren't allowed to be here? Yeah, I was trying to get out, out of there. I couldn't find a friend, and this guy said I should sit down and listen to music with him. And what was his name? Um, he was an older man, and he said he didn't want a, the ice ring. Okay, do you know about how long ago I told and you you weren't allowed to be here? And there two other men that, um, uh, they were telling me, have you pulled down my pants? I would legally say, do not um, touch me. So do you know about you? I'm not you know going in the car for f searching me like that and pulling down my pants. That's illegal. I don't care. I don't care. That's illegal. You don't touch me like that. Unhandcuff me now. Nope. No. Unhandcuff me now. I don't get this. I didn't do anything. I was trying to get released from this place. I was going to get, um, uh, uh, when the cops tried to put the suspect in the police car, she yelled and fought them. But she couldn't keep up with the fight, and in the end, she surrendered. Furthermore, the man who called the police didn't want to press charges against the suspect because he felt bad about her. All my stuff is here! We'll get it, we'll get it. No, we'll I get don't it. get that, get no! I want to be, no! I would like, you. no! Stop no, I didn't do that, Stop no! I would like you to handcuff me! I didn't do any of this, no! You never treat me like this, ever! Oh, oh, no, man! This is wrong! You never do this! I didn't do anything! I was gonna go to the other goddamn house! I was about to... He does not want to press charges on her. He feels bad for her. Trespass. Yeah, yeah. So got the trespass still. To conclude, the woman was booked and charged with trespassing and resisting arrest. Even though she attempted to deceive, fight, and resist the police, she was unsuccessful in all of her endeavors. On the other side, this next individual will be the most entitled daughter you'll ever come across. It all begins with the cop who was on patrol when he saw a red Ford Explorer making an unlawful right turn, which prompted the cop to apply the brakes with great force. Upon initiating a traffic stop of the vehicle, the female driver informed the cop that she was unaware that she had made an unlawful turn. Hello. Um, so the reason why I stopped, you made that right turn from Pearl to Bagley. You made it at the red light, and I'm not sure if you realize, but you almost struck me. I apologize. No, I did not. Okay. You got a driver's license on you? I actually don't have anything. I was going up to work. I didn't bring anything with okay. me today. Okay. Don't be dealing with the time of your info. Yeah, you're supposed to treat it. Well, that right there, you can't even make a right turn at this time, at the I red light. I started working at this office, so I, I'm not really used to this area right now. I'm so sorry. During this time, the cop detected the aroma of marijuana and challenged the suspect about it. However, the suspect responded by stating that the joint was nothing more than a little one that was used for recreational purposes. In addition, the situation became more problematic when the suspect refused to comply with the directions that the cop had given. That being the case, the cop requested further cop assistance while the suspect pulled out a phone and videotaped the traffic stop. I just, my only concern is if there's anything else other than that. That's why I'm asking you, is it okay if I take a look? Well, this is what I've got. This is okay, what I but have. that's not what I'm asking. Uh, I prefer not to, like, because okay. I... So based on that, I could, just so you know. Okay, I prefer if you didn't. Okay, well, I'm telling you, based on that... I understand. I can't. I, I'd prefer if you didn't. Like, again, I'm super okay. sorry. It was just, seriously, it was just an accident. Like, I really didn't mean to... Uh, no. I really Look, do, I I'm not trying to give you a hard life. time. I, I get it. I get you trying to get really home. Bad day, like as it was. I was supposed to go to the office. People weren't there. I just, I'm trying to get home. I, I really didn't know that there was such a thing. But I, please, please, please. 
Sorry. Here, come on. Step out. Huh? I have not written you anything. Know, I'm just trying I, to be. I don't. <laughs> I also know my rights, and I don't think I have to. You do. So don't make it hard. I really please. I just want to go home. I'm asking you to step out nicely. Go home. I'm asking you to step out nicely. Can you get your name and badge number? It's Officer Nasser, 732. Come on out. Now, the suspect disclosed to the cop that she did not want to comply with the legal commands because she was afraid. In addition, she disclosed to the cop that she had asked her father, who had formerly served in the police force, to come here and provide a solution to the matter. On the other hand, the cop instructed her to get out of the car and comply with the authorized directions. Otherwise, the situation would become extremely troublesome. I accidentally put off your... Uh, companion there. Okay. Okay. Kind of used to the area, just so I'm looking at the area. Okay. Uh, we're of the traffic laws there. Okay. Pulled me over to the third day, and I saw some marijuana. Yeah. I searched it, and so I'm comfortable with that. I'm going to pull over here. Okay. So now what? Um, I'm not comfortable with you searching that vehicle. My dad's not far. I'm asking him to come here and help out as well. Okay. Well, uh, I can smell the marijuana too, as I'm up here. And I. So. Not a crime. It is. So if an officer tells you you have to step out of the vehicle, you have to step out of the vehicle. That's a lawful order, okay? So I'm I'm being very nice and patient. Oh yeah, yeah. If you comply with me, I'll give you whatever you want. But right now, you're not. Oh, are you a sovereign citizen? Is that Patrolman Venus Badge Seven Twenty Two? Okay. Okay. So you've been given a lawful order to exit the vehicle three times by me. Okay. Okay. Can you please exit the vehicle? I would like to wait. Until Can you please exit the vehicle? I would like to wait. Can you please exit the vehicle? Yeah, I would like Can to wait. Can you please exit the vehicle? I'm not. Okay. So like you have to exit the vehicle. And if your father comes here and interferes with the traffic stop, things could get a lot worse. Right now, if it's just marijuana, I'll be honest with you, we do not we do not cite for marijuana. However, it is probable cause for a search, and we will need to seize that because you cannot have that legally. I would like to wait. Do you understand that? Yeah, okay, I would still like to wait. Okay. Can you please step out of the vehicle? I would still like to wait. Okay. If you continue this, you're going to be arrested for obstruction. Okay? And that would be an unlawful arrest, and you can deal with that in court. Good luck with that in court. Okay. Okay, so that. you've been given a lawful command. I did it seven times in a row. Okay? Great. I that was eight. Also, I also have my rights. Okay. As a result of the suspect's refusal to comply with the cop's repeated orders to exit the car, the cop was forced to shatter the glass on the driver's side of the vehicle. Therefore, the suspect was taken into custody for obstruction and then transported to a police vehicle. You can post this, you can think you're cool, posting it on the internet, you are wrong. You are wrong. Okay? So you must exit the vehicle. You can peacefully exit the vehicle. Yep. Well, this is all this is all on you, okay? I'm thoroughly scared at this point. Females refusing to exit the vehicle. you can please show up here. Okay, I'm gonna break the window if you do not exit the vehicle. Officer, I really need, I need a supervisor here before you take those kind of extreme measures. Ready? No, no, sir, please. I need a supervisor on the scene. Officer, I need a supervisor on the scene. I need a supervisor on the scene. Yeah, we got one. I need a supervisor on the scene. Hands behind your back right now. Hands behind your back right now. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Let me get this out your hands. I'm not letting go of that. Okay, I'm going to put it on you top of the car. Safety and your safety. You are our being recorded by well. three of our cameras. And now you're under arrest for obstruction. How's that, huh? That's what you wanted, right? The supervisor arrived at the scene and began to talk with the suspect about the circumstances that led to her current state. On the other side, the suspect attempted to place responsibility on the cops, claiming that they were hostile for no apparent reason and that they may have performed their duties in a more calm manner. So I'm the, the supervisor of the shift. Um, 
Would you like to talk to me about yes. what happened? Okay. So, do you understand each of these rights that I have explained to you? Yes. Okay. Um, having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? And especially as the last one said, if you don't want to answer a question that I ask, you just don't have to answer that. Okay? So, can you explain to me what happened and what led to the situation that, that is here now? Um, who's this officer who just walked by? Gentleman in the ball cap there? Yeah. Um, he's the one who initially pulled me over. Um, I apparently accidentally cut him off. Okay. I'm not familiar with that intersection, was unaware that it was, um, it's actually my father right there. Uh, okay. I was unaware that, that I couldn't turn right there and I just started recently working with him as office. Um, okay. Uh, he's a private investigator, um, he's been in criminal justice for over 30 years and so I was actually out there doing some work, uh, I had to head home, didn't realize I'd made a mistake, uh, the officer in the ball cap, or just got the, yeah, the officer in the ball cap yeah. was the one who um, pulled me over initially. I didn't realize I'd made a mistake. He declared my car smelled of marijuana. I was like, okay, he got me to pull over here. I did. Um, he called for backup. The second gentleman there ordered me out of the car. I was confused as to why. Uh, okay. Demanded that I get out of the car. I told him I felt scared and unsafe, and he proceeded to bust my window out. Okay. And now I'm handcuffed in the back of a cop car. Okay. Very unaware of exactly what I've done wrong besides accidentally turning red okay. on a red light on accident. Okay. So, um... I'm very scared. Okay. And I'm very uncomfortable. All right. Um, I'm very upset about my car. Uh, I didn't mean to. I okay. didn't mean to turn red. I am sorry. I, I would have gladly taken the ticket for yep. smelling like marijuana. Like, I didn't know I did anything wrong. So I'm very shaken right now. I didn't know I did something. Okay. And I just wanted to go home. All right. I want to go see my kids. I want to go see my husband. I don't want to be here right now. After some time had passed, the suspect's father, who used to work in the police force, arrived. He attempted to rescue his daughter from the situation that she was in. However, the cops were extremely honest with him and informed him of what was going to happen to his daughter. Hello. Hi. I'm her dad. Hi. Yeah. I'm let you explain that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I'm a former law enforcement, mm -hmm. private investigator now okay. office. Yeah, she explained that as well. She works for me, so she called me, she was up at the office. I don't know what the she did, but her boyfriend's one of these goddamn sovereign, you know. Okay. Well, I yell at him all the time. And so, that's why I, I just... Yeah. I mean, we can see... You can release her, great. Okay. Uh, that'll be, I, you know, that's my car, it's insured under my name. Okay. Um, I'd be happy to, but I'll make sure she goes to court or whatever she's got to okay. do. Um, I don't know if that was part of me or not. Yeah, we could see, you know, just from talking to her in a little bit of the back of the car here, you could see the, the, the tinges of the sovereign citizen or yeah, at least the, yeah. the, the belief. Okay. One of those came out of the car when, yeah, when, yeah. when we actually opened up the passenger side right. door. So well, I'm going to go back over to the office. I okay. Got my dog's over there. I'm going to get him home, and then. Um, okay. But if she needs to do come get her. I'll to summarize everything, the suspect was issued citations for obstructing official business, open container, and traffic control device. At this time, the suspect's court case is still ongoing. Despite her best efforts, she was unable to outwit the police. However, this next individual is going to be the most entitled, drunk female you've ever seen. It all begins with the police trying to pull over a suspect who had run a red light and was traveling on four tires that had blown out. Because of the tire condition, the suspect continued to move ahead at a slow pace even as the cops came behind the car and activated their lights and sirens. What are you doing? What's the matter? I'm trying to go up to the drive station. Please Relax. Wait, please. You're not under arrest. You're not under arrest. Why am I under arrest? You didn't say you were under arrest. You're not 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 under arrest. you it flew out? Yes, I was driving and I hit over right. the curb and it flew out. Where, do you have your ID in the car? Or yes, sir. Can we get that? Yes, sir. Hey, can you get her ID? Can we'll we'll get, get it right there. We'll get it for you. We'll it's get it for you. my phone. Yeah. 
really, like I said, all that, I, she was, uh, yeah, all four of them. I was like, I, at first I thought she just had a flat and she was going really slow. And then I was like, what the <laughs> so she hit, she, she nailed it, she nailed it first. Yeah, I'm sure she did. Look at this one. No, look at that one. Over no, here. no, no, no. No, yeah, that's right. Trying to tell me. This is definitely freaking. I wonder if it has some. Come here. Look at your car. Does that, look like a, does that look like an air problem or does that look like something worse? It looks like something worse, but that's why I was trying to go to. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't go outside my car, so I honestly didn't know what it looked like. But when I went outside my car, I saw the car going like this. So I thought maybe it needed some air. Yeah, you're you're a lot. You, hey, real quick, I'm no mechanic anymore. I mean, I did no, go to school for mechanics. No, I understand 100% what you're saying. That's a problem. The suspect stated to the police that she had no idea her tires were in such poor condition and that she had just bumped her vehicle close to her friend's home. Moreover, the suspect denied that she was drunk and said to the cops that she only had one round of wine. The police, on the other hand, asked her whether or not she wanted to do field sobriety tests. I went outside of my friend's house. She has a curb over her house. So when she when I went over the curb over her house, I hit it and it went like this. So I was like, oh my god, I hit the car in my in the the tire over my car. So I felt like I hit the tire of my car. So then I went mm -hmm. close over here to I tried to go to the closest race track to put gas in my air in my tire. I put, tried to put gas in my tire. When I went to the closest race track to put gas in my tire, I looked outside and you guys put me over and yes I. F up my tire. Fuck the morning. Oh, good percent. How much do you have to drink tonight? I did not have a lot to drink tonight. How much is a lot? I did not have. Honestly, I'm gonna say hundred percent. I had a glass of wine to drink. Okay, you got a glass of wine. Okay. I'm a hundred percent. I had a uh, I got a glass of wine to drink. Other than that, I didn't have anything else. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some. Uh, it's entirely up to you. We're going to do some field sobriety exercises to make sure you're okay to drive. I'm not hundred percent. Okay, so do you want to, do you want to do these field sobriety exercises, or do you not want to? Sir, I was just trying to get to racetrack to okay. fail my. Okay. We are. We believe that you are under the influence of something. I'm not under the influence. Hold on. Of something. I'm going to have. I am now requesting that you do field sobriety exercises. Do you wish to do them? I honestly, a hundred percent, don't feel comfortable because I honestly don't. I don't trust it a hundred percent. The cops asked her for the last time whether she would be willing to participate in field sobriety testing, and she responded in the affirmative. Consequently, the suspect began taking tests, all of which she failed with a terrible performance. I need a yes or no. Do you want to do the exercises? What are the exercises? You really haven't explained yes, that. Yes, he to has. Me. I really have. So me explaining them to you right now, you're gonna forget in five seconds. I'm not gonna forget them in five I seconds. I told you I'm gonna check your eyes. You said that you're gonna check my eyes and that you're gonna test. That's all you said. I'm gonna check your eyes, and then I'm gonna have you walk a line, and then I'm gonna have you hold your foot up. I can hold my foot up. Okay. Like this. So do you want to take the test? The exercises? Sure. Come right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check your eyes, okay? So you're gonna look at this thing with your eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head, okay? So what I want you to do is uh, just step right here, left foot on the line, put your right foot in front. Take nine heel to toe steps. You're going to take a series of small steps. Then you're going to walk nine. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. You can start whenever you want to. Seven. Over. You want to pay and pay the channel on the patch? Are you done? With that exercise? I was not. You said nine mm -hmm. steps. Nine steps, turn around and go back. Oh, you want me to go back? Yes.
At this time, the cops made the decision to arrest her for driving under the influence of alcohol since she didn't pass the tests, and it was quite evident to them that she was highly intoxicated. On the other hand, the suspect was confused as to how she failed the tests and attempted to defend her position. Go ahead and continue. Just start off with the same number that you left off with. 1, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, you're under arrest for DUI. But why? Because it's my job. You're a dangerous driver. But why? If I put it to 1,000 times. Can we look up your Sorry. Yeah. I put it to 1,000 times. Okay. So first off, we don't we don't arrest people just for one failure. Yeah, but I just feel uncomfortable in there. Okay. I've never been pulled over. No problem. First time for everything. Come with me. Sir. Come please, with me. Please. Don't do something stupid. I'm not trying please. to no, do something I don't, stupid. Yeah, don't lift your arms. Just come with us. I we'll just, come please. with us and we'll explain everything. I, I'm trying it for you to explain it for you. We're going to. We're going to go for, We're going to go back here to my, my car. My dad has explained this to me. Okay. Hundred, okay, come no, on. No, sir. Please. 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 Don't make me why did I, charge. Why did I fail my test? Lots of reasons. It's all going to be. Tell me right now. Okay, right so your historic, your height, your uh, horizontal nystagmus, horrible. My this? Yeah, that's not paying. That's called not paying attention. How is this not paying attention? Because I told you to lift your foot like this. Not I like lift my foot like this. Yeah. I lift my foot like this. Okay. And I held it for how many, ten seconds. How many? How many steps did I tell you to take? Nine. You took seventeen. Come on. The suspect was attempting to persuade the cops that she had only had one glass of wine and that she had not failed the field sobriety tests. Additionally, she said to the cops that if she was sent to prison, both her life and her career would come to an end. The cops, on the other hand, escorted her to the police car and asked her whether she would be willing to comply with a breathalyzer test. The cops also advised her to not be too anxious about the situation and that she could bail herself out of the situation. I have a question. What's that? What's your question? Why did he say I failed the test? You did. You did pretty bad. Let's go. Have a seat. But I hey, he's going to do the breathalyzer. He didn't take a seat. You. What's your question? What's your question? What's your question? I asked you. I took the test. Right. Okay. After I didn't want to take it because I knew I only but you, had a glass but you of said wine. Yes. Yes, but I took the glass of wine. Okay. I told him. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk no, to you through sir. here. We'll Watch talk. No, sir. I don't want to talk to you through here. Okay. I. It just upsets me because I know I'm not drunk. Okay. Well, you're, you you want the breathalyzer, right? Do you know what a DUI does to your life? Yeah. yeah. Do you know? Do you want to do the breathalyzer? That you said yeah, right? That's not the point. Okay. The point is, do you know what a DUI does to your life? It does, yeah. It does a lot of shit to does. your life. Yes. I can't get to work now because of that. Okay. You can. You still no, can. No, we can't. Yeah. I live depending, in Palm Coast. Depending, depending, uh, <laughs> depending what it I'm is. I'm going to spend a life in jail now. I've never what? been to jail. He's going to take me to jail. Yeah, it's a bond. You'll be able to call somebody and you have, it's, Literally, no, what, $100? I can't call anybody. $100 I don't know how it's many 500 but to get out is $100. It's not the point. Whatever happens with the breathalyzer, that's that's on him, okay? So that's what we're going to do. I need you to put your leg inside because we're going to go to our police department, which is 10 seconds away. It's right there. While the suspect was at the police station, she spoke with the cops about the possibility of being freed if she passed the breathalyzer test. However, the cops informed her that this would not be possible and that the only option to be released immediately would be for her to bail herself out of jail. If I take the breathalyzer and I pass, I can leave. No. Because I still, I still think you're intoxicated mm -hmm. on something. Okay, so I still have to spend the night. In you don't have to spend the night. You have to go there and get bailed out. Just like I know. So what if I don't get bailed out? 
I'm sure your father's not going to let you sit there. And I think, and if I'm not mistaken, there was a lot of cash in there. You could probably bail out yourself. Yes. I don't know how much money you had. So you can bond out yourself. So the bond itself is five hundred dollars. But so if you, out yeah, it, yeah, to bond out with a bondsman, it would cost you like a hundred bucks. If you want to get, if you want to pay cash and get the hell out, you can do that when you get there. So you if can either take, you can either take this. Charges will still be upon my name. You're still gonna have charges. You then you're gonna go to court. That's and then you can, lawyer. and then that's where your lawyer will come in and fight the court. It'll be his word versus mine. Okay. To put it all together, she was charged with driving under the influence. Also, the court case involving the suspect is still in progress. Although she made an effort to convince the cops that she was not under the influence of alcohol, she was not very successful. However, this next individual's behavior is going to shock you to a great extent. It all begins when a store manager calls the police to report that a woman is destroying the store. So the cops went to the shop and had a conversation with the management. What was she doing inside the store? Uh, she walked down this aisle 12 and she started like hollering and pulling things off the shelf. Then she walked around to this aisle 11, she started punching things on the shelf and trying to pull the shelves down. Did she damage anything? Well, just some. That on the floor, those are those front ends on the top shelf. She just took a little bit of punch and she said she's on medication. Yeah, we deal with her all the time. Oh, okay. Dude, do you guys want to press charges or? No. Okay. I think she's just having a really bad day, and Allison said she didn't know she could handle her. Okay. So she tried to get her. First, she didn't want her to leave to go run around the neighborhood. As soon as the cops arrived at a residence, they began a conversation with the suspect. Thus, she informed them that the employee of the store had made fun of her and the clothing that she was wearing. Another thing that the suspect told the police was that she was assaulted by a spirit, which caused her to get enraged. On the other side, the police informed her that the management of the store would not be filing charges against her. So what was going on? So I was walking through the store, or we were walking through the store, and the store employee was shouting out things about me, about what I was wearing, about things he thought about my personality. There was a lady walking up. She didn't say hi. Can you come over here? Stop over here. They're going to talk. So what, what was going on? Let's try it again. So the store employee. Can you show me clear to sign for and I, I, I couldn't, in conscious spirit, if that makes any sense. You couldn't what? In conscious spirit, he was making fun of me. Okay, which way, one? The one that had, uh, behind the register. Okay. And then there was a lady who was doing the same thing. And I was so unsafe in my body, I couldn't do anything. And okay. anger kind of just is the way I just, I, I shut my mind gotcha. off. I dropped this, I, I <clears throat> threw the soup because of him and then, it, and the lady, it was just all overwhelming. Okay. Yeah, a hell of a right hook on a Funyuns bag though. Yeah, I saw that. that was me too. Good news is, they don't want any, they're not compressing charges for your destruction, but it's not the proper way to be in a store. If something happens, just ignore it or just walk out. At this moment, the police informed the suspect that she had a warrant and that, unfortunately, she was obliged to join them. The suspect, on the other hand, did not take that information lightly and made an effort to escape from the situation. So what you did there, but you do have a warrant, so you gotta come with us. Criminal mischief. A different I, incident. I don't think I do. I would have been notified. Well, it's not ours. You get notified now. So. I don't. I have a warrant out for my arrest. Just. 
I don't have. Let's a, just do it nice and no, easy. No, no, nice I don't. Well, we'll do I don't it. have a warrant out for my arrest. We're, we're gonna make it nice and simple. Criminal mischief. I went to court. All right, we're gonna handle this one, and then you'll go to court again. All right. You're probably gonna appearance again. Go I don't have. Let's just handle an, it nice I'll, and easy. I don't have an arrest don't warrant. Listen. Don't Let's turn this. I don't warrant. have an arrest you, warrant. You're, you're gonna, I don't have an arrest you're warrant. Gonna get, I that. You're gonna get charged with resisting if you don't put your hands behind your back. I don't have an. I'd like you to show me the the warrant first. We're gonna show you. Please show me it now. Yeah, we're gonna show Please show you. me it now. Back to the station. Presently, the suspect made an effort to push off the cops while yelling that she did not possess a warrant and demanded that the cops provide her with the warrant. On the other hand, the police were making every effort to catch up with her and take her into custody. Meanwhile, her aunt tried to calm her down and advised her to pay attention to what the police had to say. You oh, you're supposed car. to show someone a, a warrant before you arrest okay. them. Yes, no. you are. Alexis. Yes, you are. Here. You're legally supposed to show someone an arrest warrant before you arrest them. Ah! Okay, you Right now! Awesome, please stay back. Lexi, yeah, you're talking to you! Cooperate with them! Do you hear me? Lexi, do you understand? I didn't do this! You left this yeah, no, 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 Lexi! Lexi! Five feet! Lexi! Right out of the Lexi! He got of you! Lexi, listen to me! After the police were able to successfully place the suspect into the police vehicle, one of the cops had a conversation with the suspect's aunt regarding what would happen to the suspect. On the other side, the aunt asked the cop if she could assist in any way, since she was aware that the suspect was suffering from mental illness. You okay, bro? You got everything? Yeah, we're good. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, it's not your fault. Okay, we appreciate you helping us out. Like I said, I'm going to fill you in, okay? Can you check on their warrant? Yeah, they just told me, so it's a warrant for party larceny, so it's nothing. Serious. Or not petty larceny, criminal mission, sorry. So I don't know what it was, where she broke it or what. But that's what it's for. Okay, so she's gonna have to go down to her station, most likely end up going up to at least the jail. Oh, so she's got to so see the seven o'clock judge? Yes. Um yeah, giving how she is on the bench and doing like that if she calms down. If not, we're gonna probably try to get some mobile crisis, some type of help that way. Um but Is like, there something I could do? Because I mean Auburn won't take her. And if she's got that Right. She flips so, out. Being in jail, they're, gonna, they're not going to take care of her. Right. That's why we're going to try to do everything to not do that. Obviously, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. We're, we're well aware of her situation. Okay. okay. So it's not like we're trying to... Obviously, we still have a job to do. we got to do certain things. Um, I mean, she's already... They, I can't turn my neck further than this because... I'm telling you this right now. Most it's, most likely, the way with giving her history and how she's doing, she's even if she doesn't make 7 o'clock, she's going to sit on our bench. She's not going to go up to the jail because the jail won't take her in this condition. Okay. So she would sit at the PD by herself until the morning comes. Okay, if the, if she does do that, can somebody, and please don't get off of that, can somebody call me so I can at least come see you? Have a phone you saw when I touched her and I said it was me, right, so right, calm right. down. No, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not, I, I No, I cannot. If you could come in, I'll give you my boyfriend's number. You know it off the top. If you want to run and grab your phone, grab it, get the number, come back. I'll be right out here. I'll make sure I'm I wait so for sorry, you. I'm so sorry, At this point, the cops allowed the suspect's aunt to speak with her in order to calm her down. The aunt then instructed the suspect to obey the cops once again and to behave in a pleasant manner. Can I talk to you, please? Look here. Give me your hands. Listen. I'll be down there, okay? Here. Give me your head. I love you. Okay, I'm going to get everything for you. Come here. I love you, okay? I'm going to go to Uncle Dan's and get his phone. Look at me. You need to do what they say. Please, come here. Come here. I love you. I got you, kiddo. I'm going to do everything I can. All right, but listen. You need to be nice. Let the voices be up there. Don't hurt these officers. Do you understand me? Come here. Come here. Make it one time. Come here. Don't hurt these guys, please. 
you'll get in more trouble. I love you. I'll be down there, okay? To bring it all to a close, both resisting arrest and criminal mischief in the fourth degree were the charges that were brought against her.